Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Feli, and welcome to this let's play of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Last episode, I believe we had uh, made our way into... Okay, I'm just getting a reminder of some of these things. Getting a... Um, made our way into... Ah, oh, yes, it was that into New York City in order to try and make our way over to somewhere so that we can uh, get out of here. Just gonna climb our way up so that we can get to another building so that we can investigate it and find information on... what is it again? Zerkezi server to determine who Dvorak is. Okay! Something we can work on. Let's get in here and see what we can find. And we have a guard. Fisher, looks like the National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hit a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't. Most likely. Hi. Shh. I'm not going to hurt you. Who, who are you? Wait a minute. Is this a training exercise? Damn. Support. This guy knows it's an exercise. Who let the cat out of the bag? Huh. I knew it. Roger that. Yeah. Okay. Give me a hand here, pal. Just play along. Name, rank, and number. Damn it. Corporal Stan Dunn. Okay, give me a moment. So I guess those two are going to be talking to each other, and since I grabbed him, that kind of screwed things over a bit. Oh, what's that message? Probably nothing important. Yeah, the deedly dude sure? came late. Looks like the National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't. Nope, that was wrong. Okay, so we know some guy's actually patrolling back there and will eventually interact with the person. Fisher, looks like the National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't. Okay, so we know that there's a guy who's going to come around here in just a moment. Then he walks back. Come on. Come on, turn around, go see your other go your other buddy, and we can go and invest go and hear what you have to say to each other. What's the status on that elevator? I'll have it running in a sec. We'll speed it up. We need to get some more equipment up to the roof. I'm going as fast as I can. There we go. Shh. I'm not going to hurt you. Who, who are you? Wait a minute. I, is this a training exercise? Damn. Support. This guy knows it's an exercise. Who let the cat out of the bag? Huh. I knew it. Roger that. Yeah. Okay. Give me a hand here, pal. Just play along. Name, rank, and number. Hmm. Corporal Stan Donlin, 24-28-996. And you're not going to tell me anything else? No, sir. Good boy. All right, want me to move on to the next one? Yeah. Roger. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'll ask. Command wants to know how many are on the roof. Two on the roof, sir. Two more inbound in a chopper. Thanks. Dismissed. Wait a minute! This isn't an exercise! Who are you? Well, am I dismissed or not? Sir? <laughs> well, am I dismissed? You are. Just take a nice little nap. There you go. Okay. Now. Got this other guy patrolling. Keep my eye on him. Oh, 
Oh, he's patrolling over there. Come on. I'm pretty sure he's going to be coming back. Yep, oh, yep, there he is. There you go. Okay. He's going to stand right there, and then... Gotcha. All right. Don't worry, buddy. Everything's going to be fine. I am not killing a single soul here. Not that I would be. This is just a training exercise. You'll be fine. Just stay right here, nice and quiet. Everything's fine. See? You're all good. Now. So I could call the elevator. It looks like I need to fix things. Which means I believe there's a room over here. Oh, it's just another quiet room I could have stored someone in. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't actually look like there's anywhere except for the elevator itself. Alright, to the elevator then. Ah, jeez. All the way up to the roof, please. Thank you very much. Long way up, but we'll get there. We just... Okay. Let's throw down a save just to be safe here. Alright, sounds like the helicopter guard bringing the other people in is pretty much arriving now. Oh, hi. Ah, that didn't work. Let's try that a bit more carefully. So we know a guy's gonna be coming over here. And we got a nice place to store him. Let's just keep our eyes open on him, see how he patrols. He's coming over this way. There we go. Gotcha. Nothing to say? Ah, uh, don't worry. You'll be perfectly fine. I can hear the helicopter overhead, so don't worry. Your buddies will find you eventually. Now have a nice nap. Thank you very much. Let's see. I see a guard over there. Up, oh, he walked off. Yep, there's the guards. So you know what I can't figure out? Like, the entire city is dark, right? Yeah. But this guy over here, all his lights are on. How can that be? Well, the richer you get, the more paranoid you get. The guy probably has his own generator so he can keep his security system running. Security system? Who's gonna climb 15 floors to break into his apartment? Like I said, paranoid. I mean, it makes sense why he'd be paranoid here, because there is someone climbing 15 floors in order to get in there. Hmm. Yep. Stay 
nice and quiet. I got a place to keep you. Nobody's gonna notice anything. Everything will be fine. Uh-oh. Oh, he's coming this way with a flashlight. Okay, that would be... Please don't come any further. If you do, I'm gonna have to retreat. Okay, good. I do have a nice spot for you. Have a nice night. Okay. So we got two other guards we need to deal with. One's patrolling over there. The other is right there. Hmm. I think I see how I can grab him. Oh crap, he has a flare. That's not good. Okay, they're both coming this way. Just keep over here out of the way. Nice and quiet. Don't go in there and find the body. Nothing here but ghosts and shadows. Yep, nothing at all. What's going on here? Oh shit, he found the body. Gotcha. Okay, so you did actually find something. But you're not going to find anything more. I guess you were right about, uh, paranoid people. Now. Last guy. Uh-oh. And he's got the flare again. Stay careful, I don't want him to see me. One damn lit area. He coming? Technically, I do have those cameras I could use. He's coming. Coming in here. Thank God. There we go. Nice and quiet. I wish I could have grabbed you, but I guess that didn't happen. Oh well. Jeez, that is not very well put together. Okay, let's see here. Gotta find a way to get across. Hmm. Looks like this will be the way across. Via these wires, maybe? Let's jump again. Forgot. Oh, wait, I can't even jump. There we go. Yep, it's shift. And we're going in. Fisher, satellite shows you've reached the Casey's building. County clerk's office has construction permits on file for the floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grimm look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea. And we've got guards. Fisher, that's a hired gun if I've ever seen one. He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kit as the guys who were protecting the Serta. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters work for. Will do. Which I can do as soon as I grab him. Gotcha. What are you doing down here? Ah, who the hell? Off to a bad start. Talk or die. Ah, okay. We're on VIP protection. This floor. We need to secure it because we can't lock it off from the penthouse. Does the architect or engineer keep an office or a desk down here? Yeah, 
Of course! West side of the building! Hmm. Since you're doing so well, why don't you tell me the name of the PMC you work for? I... Uh, I work for Displace. Displace International. If you're gonna kill me, do it quick. You're messing with the wrong company, pal. Say, you say so, but uh, I think I can handle it. This place, that's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, if Shetland turns out to be crooked. If Shetland is crooked, I'll take him down myself. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside this place is playing both sides. You got it. Possible. And I can see that there's guards around here. Two more in there. All right. Let me toss down a save before we go in. All right, and we do have uh, an additional goal handled. Okay. Nothing there. Notes. Mercenaries work for displace. There may be architectural plans somewhere in the construction area. Okay. So we've got one guard over there who's patrolling back and forth. Ooh, I have a way. Well, I can get in here. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. If I go up into here... You notice the cut. Gotcha. Now just stay nice and quiet. No one here. No signs of disturbance. Now, let's keep quiet. Another guard walking around. Gotcha. Alright, two guards both dealt with. Let's take them into that area. I won't need to worry about them anymore. Well, actually, I think the better area is outside. Yeah, not in there where it's nice and brightly lit. Outside here, I think this will work perfectly fine. Don't you, buddy? Yes, I'm sure you agree. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm trying to avoid killing anyone, and you haven't done anything to piss me off. So you're going to stay right out here, nice and quiet. Have a nice nap. Let's get the other body. Okay, there we go. I hope this music doesn't end up getting me flagged or anything for copyright. I have no idea what the music is. Right over here. And you'll be right with your buddies. See? Nice and easy. Everything's good. Alright, let's head out. Okay. There's gotta be something somewhere around here. Oop. Oh, hi. Oh, you're asleep. There we go. I would have liked to uh, interrogate you, but I guess it's not going to be happening. Unfortunate. I got somewhere I got to deposit you. Don't worry. It's a bit of a walk, but I got a place to leave you. Everything will be fine. Huh. <sighs> Unconscious, I guess, is better than sleeping. Still, I do wish that I could have interrogated him, but that would have been a little risky. Huh. 
Right here with his buddies. He's probably going to be wondering what the hell happened. Okay, someone's trying to figure out where these guys are. But I'm sure nothing will come of it. Alright, here we are. Let's see what we got here. Security access. And we got it. Hmm. Work permits, architectural plans. Interesting. Zerkezi has a hardened panic room off of his bedroom. Hmm. I'll check it out. Looks like he also filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across the rooftop. I'll leave the relevant data on your offset. Should help you navigate. Thanks. Interesting. Let me take a look at the map here. Okay, I'm on the lower floor here. There is an elevator. There's also a stairwell. Don't think the elevator works. Let me take a look out here, see what we can see. Also, new goal. No, it's still the same. Alright. What have we got on this side? Oh. There's a light over there. That's a camera, isn't it? Well, I can pick the lock. Fisher, Zerkezi's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Exactly. And listen, it would help us keep tabs on Zerkezi if we could use these cameras against him. Mm. Gotcha. I'll try and run some taps. Tap the cameras. Interesting idea. Like so? Good work, Fisher. That's one camera tapped. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open. Indeed. Okay, it did imply that there's a way to get up the via the elevator. Does that elevator actually work, is what I wonder. The answer appears to be no. Uh Yeah, the elevator doesn't appear to be something we can access. So it looks like we're going to be going outside. All right. I'll have to get by that uh that camera. Also, goals tap the penthouse video cameras. New note. You can see them projected with night vision. Probably not infrared, but night vision. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, let's head around this way. Nice and easy. I managed to get by quick enough. Nothing was seen. All right. Let me drop down a save. All right, we got two rooms here. What have we got in this one? Nope, oh, wrong button. Yeah, there's someone in there. What about in this one? Looks like a simple closet. Fisher, 
Officer, looks like Sir Casey has these doors mag-locked on a remote switch. You'll need to find the computer that controls the magnetic lock. Where would I find that? It's probably in that panic room he keeps hidden behind his bedroom. Gotcha. So we gotta get to his bedroom and get in there. Which means we gotta go through this guy. So it's in here. Weird that I could hear a helicopter there. Gotcha. Pick a number between one and ten. Uh, one. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, three. <sighs> Lucky guess. Hmm. You get the lift. Now tell me something useful, or we'll play another round. Oh, God. Uh, uh, the, the mag lock. The locked door to the roof. What about it? Uh, uh, I think the computer that controls it is in the master bedroom on the top floor. Hmm. I told you everything. Do you want me to pick again? Uh, four. No, uh. no, wait, wait. Seven. No, no. Four would have been the right number. Don't worry. I'll let you live. Just a little unconscious. And I'm kind of getting tired of this radio. And I can't turn it off. Alright, alright. Gotta find our way to the master bedroom. Looks like there's a way out on the outside. Or we can go through here. Ah, that's why. There's a camera in here. Somewhere. And I see it from the outside. Hmm. Oh no! There's a ah, there's the camera. Gotcha. Stay quiet. It's a long way down to the street. <laughs> oh, God, please don't. Sounds to me like you know who's in charge of VIP protection here. Yeah, it's Nedich. My mm. love, Nedich. Was he in charge of the protection detail on Morgan Holt in Peru as well? Yeah, my lawn handles all displaced VIP protection contracts. Well, he's not very good at it, is he? Please. Don't throw me off this roof. Wouldn't dream of it. I'm scared of heights. Please. And this is a very awkward job for you. I don't want to die. Don't worry. Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. He doesn't even exist. Hmm. Well, whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shetland. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise offset for private interests. Fine. If I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error. Oof. Okay, can I... Can I please just... I gotta walk him all the way around, don't I? Eh. I don't really have anywhere I can store the body that won't be seen. I guess here will do. All right. So, we've accomplished the secondary objective. We still need to tap the rest of the penthouse cameras, and we've got a second one right here. As for notes, the VIP protection leader is Milan Nedich, who does not exist, curiously. All right. Well, next episode, we'll continue going through this penthouse and see if we can find our way to where we need to get to. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester24, also known as Fly. That is Sam Fisher. This has been a Let's Play of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. And I shall see you all next time.